Welcome to part three of how to build a website from scratch. In the last video we got web hosting, updated name servers. It's now been 24 hours and our website now looks like this. We love prelove.com and it's pretty much a HostGator holding page you could say. So in this video we're going to learn how to install WordPress and we're going to turn the website from this into this. I know you can hardly wait, so let's get to it. So the first step is to log into the HostGator control panel. So what we need to do is click here, cPanel login, which is the same thing as going to welovepreloved.com forward slash cPanel. So we put our username in there and our password. If you don't know the password, just check your email and it should be there as well from last time. Once you log in, we're now into the HostGator control panel. Then we need to scroll down and find Fantastico Deluxe, which is here. It's a really strange name. I don't know why they called it that. They were probably on some type of drug. Ecstasy, it looks like. <laughs> so let's go to WordPress. And then from here, we're going to go and click New Installation. Now, we're going to install in this domain, which is the only one we have. We're going to leave this install in directory blank. Admin access data. So we have to create a username and password. Let's call it We Love Preloved. I usually just use the same name as the domain name so I can remember all the domains. And then the password, whatever password you want, I'm going to use the same HostGator one that I've got. Now we go to this section here, base configuration. If you check the notes down below, you'll see what each of them are for. The admin nickname, I'm going to call it We Love Preloved. When you create blog posts, it's going to use that admin nickname. And this is the email address it's going to send things to if someone puts up a new comment or something like that. So I'm going to put we love preloved at gmail.com. The site name and the description, I'm going to put this is we love preloved. You can change all this as well, by the way, later on, so don't worry about it too much. And then you click this button, install WordPress, and then finish installation. And now that's going to go and create it for you. Great, we finished. So now when we go back to our website, welovepreloved.com, it should now show this here. And if it's not showing it for you, then just hit Control F5 and that'll ensure that your browser refreshes properly. And this is a standard WordPress theme. So before when we entered in the description of the site, this is where it shows up. Great, so now in order to change this web page, we need to log in as the administrator. So we go to our URL, welovepreloved.com forward slash WP dash admin. And then from here, we use the username and password that we created when we first installed WordPress two seconds ago. So we go, welovepreloved was our username. I'll paste our password in there. So this is what the WordPress administration area looks like. And from here you can do everything you want, like add new posts, manage comments, change your theme, change the name of your website and the description, etc. What we're gonna do today in this video is just change the appearance or the, the theme. So we're gonna click on this link here that says appearance. And this is our current theme, which is the, the standard one that comes with WordPress 2010. I'm gonna search for a new theme so we're going to go to install themes and when you change the theme by the way the actual content that you have if you have already 10 posts or something like that they don't change just the look and feel of them does so you can search for themes we could search for an orange one here we could choose two columns if we wanted to and then go find themes and here we go if we like the look of any of these we could choose one of them. Let's say we wanted this one here. I'm going to click install. Install now. And then I'll click activate. So that's now our current theme. And the themes we used before are now in available themes. So if I go and preview the website by clicking this, we love prelove.com. This is what our website now looks like. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to use WordPress in more detail. Things like how to add pages, so we have more than these two links at the top. How to add posts as well, so there's more than just one post. And how to add images, links, etc. So join me for that. Talk to you then.